scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. <laughs> Now, I'm seeing the number 31 and the Lord is taking away the spirit of delay. The power of God is coming on them. I decree and declare at the count of three, everyone who has suffered delay here, I stand by the God of heaven in partnership with all the graces here. That devil must give way now. At the count of three, bring them out. One, two, three. I command that spirit. Go now. Go now! Go now! Delay! We come against you in the name of Jesus! Personal delays, corporate delays, institutional delays. I come by the road of a higher priesthood. I confront altars. I confront gates. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. There are people here. Everything works for others until it gets to your turn. The moment it gets to your turn, mysteriously, you don't seem to be able to step into certain blessings. I stretch my hands. Let a mantle from heaven rest upon your life now. Help that man, please. Rest upon your life now. Help that man, my God. Help this woman. The power of God is coming on you, madam. You will never be the same again. Hallelujah. Bring them out. Now, the, the Lord is ministering to me. To break the chains of untimely death there are many families here there is a track record burying loved ones before their time older parents burying the young ones I don't know who is standing here and there is an altar of death against your life but in the name of Jesus at the count of three that devil must let you go I don't care how many years for the Bible says blotting out every handwriting an ordinance that spoke against us therefore at the count of three let the spirit of death leave you one two three go 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 release your destinies now help them please release your destinies now untimely death over taraba state we command be banished in the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah now please hear me i want to say something that i do not want you to find offensive
there is a spirit around the middle belt that stems right up to these regions that does not allow anything that is started well to last beyond one or two generations you will find a responsible and successful father but there is no responsible son we almost don't have third or fourth generation anything because it looks like there is a spirit that aborts sustainability of impact i want to rebuke that spirit right now in the name of jesus for every parent here every captain of industry here you will not labor for nothing in the name of jesus if there is any family here help them that has a child male or female that is giving the problem the parents problems they have prayed and fasted and counseled some of them were sent abroad and they returned back in a way that brought pain to the parents in the name of jesus from this meeting may the angels of the lord's presence go and fetch those children from the hand of satan in the name of jesus now hear me please i believe in deliverance so there are wicked spirits that will not let people go in one word you are in when i count three i want you to shout the name jesus please hear me any altar that is not of god it must give way now at the count of three as you shout that name i don't care how long it has been that has tied you down and your family down tonight must be your night of breakthrough father i decree and declare it was this shout that brought jericho down a city whose gate was shut the bible says nothing will go out and nothing will come in are you ready to shout jesus every spirit that has tied you by ancestry by bloodline it's time for your liberty one two three shout jesus i command those devils go now help them go now go now go now go now i rebuke you release families release destinies release families release ministries release government release local governments release regions release senatorial districts we command those spirits give way now hallelujah 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 praise the name of the lord now please listen to me I'm about to pray for the sick it is a terrible thing to come from a background where there is a legal access to powers of darkness that can hold sway your life and rubbish you and you are not able to manifest destiny let me tell you the truth some of you who are in government it's not because you are here I want you to mark what happens to you tonight believe me your lives will change in a way that will surprise you it is true hallelujah let me pray for the sick now hear me i believe in the healing power of jesus i am a product of the healing ministry of jesus all those who have come out by the spirit i declare the legal hold of satan over them I stand in agreement and we stand as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. You are released now from every captivity. For the Bible says, even the lawful captives shall be delivered. I declare your release now. I declare your release now. Hallelujah. Now, please hear me. I want you to lay your hand anywhere you are trusting God for healing right now if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest 
I want to pray for you. I believe in the power of God. Jesus is real. He really is. He's alive. I'm about to pray for you now. All those outside and then those watching by television from any and every nation, lay your hands right where and if you are with a sick person, maybe in a hospital, right now I want you to lay your hands. Creator of the universe, what can you do? What can you do, Jesus? You are the name above every other name. What can you change? What can you change, Jesus? Creator of the universe. What can you do? What can you do, Jesus? I want to pray now. Most sicknesses are caused by spirits beyond the medical diagnosis. There are wicked spirits that plague human beings. Listen, hold on, please. Do you know why healing is important? I will tell you why. Healing is important because according to the law of creation, every human is only given one body per lifetime. You are not given two bodies per lifetime. You have only one body that is a legitimate host to you, the spirit man. And anytime that body is deteriorating, it is death making a proposal to your life there is a requisite level of health that the body must have for the spirit to remain if the body degenerates and deteriorates beyond that threshold level the spirit will have to live in the event you call death so every time god brings healing it is his proposal to your longevity and health so that you remain and have a body that legitimizes you to operate in this side of his kingdom healing therefore is more than a demonstration of power from a man of God healing is an expression of God's love and God's mercy and his determination to see you continue and remain until your course on earth is over now you can receive knowing what you are receiving please lay your hands and I pray for you When I shout the name of Jesus, I want you to agree with me. Now hear me. We may not have all the time, but then we may just take the first five testimonies just to honor Jesus. There are dramatic miracles that will happen right now that have even already happened. I'm going to pray. As I rebuke those spirits, I'm going to give you room to check yourself. The moment you find out that a miracle has happened to you, I want you to just come and stand in front here or here we'll have a few of the pastors who will take you we'll take one or two testimonies and then we'll do a prayer on the request and then just speak over taraba and we're done it will be a very quick walk hallelujah lay your hands there and let's pray now please lay your hands there in the name of jesus in the name of jesus Now hear me there is a man who is going to shout loud under the anointing the moment that happens the power of god to heal will begin to move these are the leadings of the holy spirit these are not things they are not fabrications of a man it's just the instruction god is giving me a gentleman a strong anointing now is coming upon him and at that shout the power of god is going to begin to now i can begin to pray I decree and declare right now every devil 
behind sicknesses and infirmities help them please my god i come against you in the name of he who died and rose again and i declare depart from the bodies of god's people now depart from the bodies of god's people now i decree and declare be healed in jesus name be healed in jesus name be healed in jesus name blind eyes i command you to be open now deaf ears i command you to be open now those who came here with crutches and could not walk lift it up and begin to walk now in the name of jesus christ anybody who was brought on a stretcher life to your body right now in the name of jesus christ hiv be healed now cancer be healed now sugar diabetes be healed now all kinds of blood related diseases be cleansed now in the name of jesus there is a gentleman that god is healing you have something like a growth around your neck the power of god is touching you right now in the name of jesus the lord is showing me a lady or a woman you have suffered pile pile for a very long time the power of god is touching you right now heart palpitations be healed in the name of jesus there are many people here i see according to my visions that have high blood pressure in jesus name we command it to go down now there is a woman the lord is showing me i don't know what is your medical diagnosis but they stopped you from eating salt they said you should not eat salt i don't know who that person is i bring the life and the power of jesus to you right now there's someone you don't hear very well or is it completely you don't hear with your right ear the power of god is touching you now in the name of jesus christ lower back pain i declare be healed now there's someone your hands you're not able to move your fingers freely there's excruciating pain the power of god is resting upon you now now every other issue whether i mentioned it or not someone just right here just where i'm touching there's severe pain that you've had there the power of god is touching you right now There is someone God is showing me, you are a man of God. When you stand on the stage to preach, the moment you start shouting, you start feeling dizzy. Almost as if you are losing breath. It's a demonic thing. Be healed right now. Now, whether I mention your issue or not, I decree and declare. Be healed now. Outside, be healed now. Online, be healed now within the auditorium be healed now even for your family members scattered all around taraba and the nations may the healing power of jesus touch them right where they are in the name of jesus now very quickly in one minute i want you to check yourself miracles are happening have happened and are happening the moment you find out something has happened to you courageously a pastor wave your hand people are coming let them see you and then begin to come let's take a few testimonies while that is happening very quickly can we have the prayer requests here if you are yet to submit your prayer request can you wave it please be seated for a few minutes god bless you let's have those who have been touched boldly courageously make your way to the front make your way to the front make your way to the front are you clapping for them jesus is touching people jesus is touching people god bless you for those coming from outside please allow them come those who have been touched by the power of god let's have a few testimonies his excellency already told us that jesus is a nigerian but that he resides in taraba so to witness the wonder working power of that jesus hallelujah very quickly please apostle oh, yes sir we have a miracle here yes sir 
this, uh, this chap here had a pain in the right side of his, his, his What's stomach. his name? God love. How long have you had this, my friend? Since last year. Since last year. Where is the pain? At my right hand side. And now what happened to you? Bend down. Any pain? Bend down. Any pain? Are you giving Jesus praise? Completely healed by the power of God. There's a powerful testimony. Yes, there, please. Apostle. When you gave the word about a woman with pile, a woman with pile. Yes, she said the pile stopped and went to hell. Where it came back from? Where it came Mama, from. how long have you had this? Let her talk. For about two years now. For two years. Two years. Yes. Medically verified. Yes. And now. I even stood blood in the afternoon before coming here. Come again, please help us with her mic. I said, I even stood blood when I went to the toilet in the afternoon today before coming here and I came here with the pen and immediately we started praying. The pen just ceased. Can you imagine? I prophesy to you that these Egyptians you see today, you will see them no more forever. Yes, sir. This is a case of a stroke. He came all the way from Gimbu. He came he, all the way from Gimbu. Where is that? <laughs> okay, here in Taraba. Yes, sir, in Taraba. About seven. The mountain. Three. Yes, sir. You are this mountain people. Okay, <laughs> go ahead. He, he. Okay, uh, let him speak. What happened to him? Very quickly. He had stroke. I, Please let him speak. I had a stroke. You came here with stroke. Yeah. You 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 are where? Give out the mic. He's my He's your what? He's my father. He's your father. Yes. What couldn't you do, sir? Lift the hand. Look at this. Drop it down. Lift it up again. Help the lady. Drop it down. Oh, come on. Are you are you giving give Jesus glory? Are you saying the miracle is beginning like to that? happen? Sir, walk. Try to walk. Walk. Look at this. He came here with a stroke. In the name of Jesus, perfection for you. Even by the power of the Holy Spirit in jesus name celebrate the lord oh dear the power of god is on his daughter yes please this is a drastic testimony he had a swollen in his throat a swelling but when you gave the word yes it took back to hell where it came back came completely from. how long my friend for four days now for four days plus okay and it's gone now yes sir. in jesus name it, it, it never returns to you again Amen. very quickly please There is a woman here for four years. You have not had helper. For four years, you have not had um, um, the fruit of the womb. I know there are many people, but this person, that's it, the power of God. Who is that person? Your life is about to change. Helper, helper, you don't please help them. I decree and declare the Lord has revealed this to me according to the time of life by next year you are returning with a baby boy this is what i've seen hallelujah who is maimuna i'm hearing a name maimuna is there someone with that name we don't have all the time we have to work with time so that um but i'm hearing a name maimuna and for that person the lord is saying that he's bringing an end to captivity Memuna, this is something that has to do with witchcraft over the family i don't know where that person is but in the name of jesus i decree and declare that power of witchcraft is broken now yes sir this is the woman case. is crying yes sir what it's, happened it's a case of 18 years of 18 years abdominal let her speak pain. my god <laughs> hallelujah i've been suffering for a lower abdominal pain for 18 years 18 years <laughs> What couldn't you do? I've seen so many doctors. And right now, bend. Any pain? Nothing. Completely. Check yourself. Twist. Any pain? Any pain? Let's celebrate Jesus. This is a case of a feverish condition. The while, while you were speaking, what happened to her? 
had fever, fever. severe fever yes and the fever is gone. is gone you heard the testimony of a there was it a man of god or someone who testified as i came in that had a little baby and the fever is gone now in jesus name i declare you are healed and perfected by the power of the holy spirit yes please very quickly okay Hallelujah. for the past five days i have a swollen i couldn't eat i couldn't sleep my husband can testify to where's that. your husband yes. megida and agake yes. come yes. i couldn't sleep let's celebrate the I husband did not sleep. I know is he here yes. and i came from the office straight from the office very sick you came from the office yes very where is sick. the husband husband is that true huh yes. and what happened to her now I'm here. he's disappeared yes. look at this help her help her the power of god is on her in the name of jesus christ i say it again the egyptians that followed you here you will see them no more forever hallelujah god bless you let's take two or three and then we'll head straight to yeah i was having ovarian cyst i went to the hospital ovarian and, cyst yes and i went to Skype. medically confirmed yes for how long ma it's about one year getting to two years now precisely yes and i went my mother prescribed i took medicine the pain still persists and they ovarian said, cyst yes uh-huh all my ovaries were affected all your ovaries yes you see how demonic the devil is you put yourself in this woman's shoes i'm not a woman and but you can imagine the kind of pain that this our dear sister must have been going through what happened now and immediately when i came when you shouted that there is a woman that has pain the pain just disappeared press your stomach any pain any pain you see ladies and gentlemen please hear me ladies and gentlemen this is more than just showing that joshua selman is powerful i will keep telling you are we together now yes this is revealing that jesus is still lord and that if he can do this kind of miracle is it a job he cannot give you if he can do this kind of miracle is it honor or restoration he cannot bring in your life so more than just looking at a man as a superstar i want your attention to be directed as jesus who is the king of kings and the lord of lords we are only privileged vessels to be used by him do not forget this hallelujah my sister it will never return to you again in the name of jesus yes please amen <laughs> as daddy and as that no one is feeling pain i'm not sure we can hear her whether english or house whichever is convenient for her but man, and this man, i've been passing through this infection for them for the past 11 years i can tell that it is 11 school. years yes i got that it is school for the school i said i'm gonna make this college work <laughs> I'm going to the I'm hospital. Not, no. I'm not sure I can. What, what did she say, Please. sir? What I'm feeling now is freezing. I'm freezing. Yes, sir. Eh? She's talking about the power of God has come upon her. She's feeling. Ah, okay, okay. In the name of Jesus, look at me, my dear. I decree and declare liberty for you, eh? and complete healing for you. In Jesus' name, I pray. God bless you that's the end of it let me hear that little girl's testimony girl yes i had to take look at this smart taraba babies let's celebrate our children look how composed and intelligent and smart some of you cannot stand in front like this and speak you know what i'm saying yes my dear what is your name by the way my name is sophia michael can you see that Taraba, don't tempt us to bring our children here for school. Yes, what happened to you? I had toothache since 2018. You had toothache? Yes. Since 2018? Yes. And what happened to you now? See, when you pray, when you said you should pray, and I, be, I began to pray, suddenly it disappeared, and I'm not feeling any pain again. 
Remember a beautiful song we used to sing. Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Red, brown, yellow, black, and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children. Yes, please. Ear pain. If they can't talk, help them. She Don't had them on the ear pains. Ear pain. Yes, sir. Baby, what is your name? Give a good deal. What's the name? Give a Gift. Deal. What happened to you? Your ears. It was paining you before, and now it's gone. Hallelujah. It will never return again in Jesus' name. Um, okay, let's let's just have one, maybe one. Let's just have two of the children, then one adult. The rest can testify tomorrow so that we'll wrap up. Yes. Go ahead. I have a throat pain. And right now, what happened, baby? When you said that I should pray, I prayed to you, and the thing disappeared, and I was still on cross. Let's celebrate our beautiful baby. In the name of Jesus, you are healed by the power of God. Yes, madam. Praise the Lord. I was having palpitation and a kind of heart Let's attack. Let's just have some silence so that. Yes, ma. And a kind of heart attack. If I hear somebody heart attack? shout. Yes, if I hear somebody shout, I would just feel shock. A okay. kind of panicking. And always, my heart is always breathing abnormal. And right now, what happened I'm to you? I'm feeling better now. Completely. Yes. It never returns to you in the name of Jesus. <laughs> now, hear me. Whether you had the opportunity to testify or not, inside and outside, we agree and we declare that your miracles are permanent. In Jesus' name I pray. How many of you believe in the power of answered prayers? The Bible says, Unto thee that answers prayers shall all flesh come. So may I request, if you are not tired, those who are already standing, keep standing. Those sitting, please sit. Let's honor them. Just be sure to stretch your hand, whether you are sitting or standing. Stretch your hand prophetically as we pray over the request. Go ahead declare as you are stretching your hands this is the most accurate representation of your desires and the bible says what things soever ye desire it says when ye pray believe that thou receivest it and thou shall have it if we still have some of the requests please bring them very quickly we're about to pray hallelujah go ahead stretch your hands i'm going to bow my knees and pray over the request and ask the Lord himself to visit Taraba you love Taraba and you love everybody here please I'd like you to pray in one minute In the name of Jesus, shout a believing amen. amen. Father, I stand in agreement with every man and woman of God in this place. And under this corporate anointing, we declare every request that has been dropped before this altar, let it be turned to a testimony. Let it be turned to a testimony let it be turned to a testimony in the name of jesus christ hear me every human agent who must come in partnership with god for this request to be answered we decree and declare may they come forth for your sake in the name of jesus christ and anyone who says over his dead body 
for this request to be answered in the name of jesus christ the earth will open and swallow them i stand prophetically upon this request anything that has stood upon you and brought you pain and tears this night here in taraba under the influence of the grace that is upon this assembly and this ministry and end comes to it now taraba lift up your heads all ye gates and be ye lifted ancient doors i speak to the north the south and the east of taraba every blood sucking spirit whether as terrorism whether as manipulations of darkness the earth opens to swallow them now i decree and i prophesy there must be peace in taraba there must be progress in taraba there must be advancement in taraba we use his excellency as a point of contact and all the members of cabinet to pray for all those who are serving in whatever capacity in the name of jesus on account of this program tonight you will not fail i pray for every home here represented in the name of jesus the sound of mourning and shame comes to an end we pray for every church that names the name of christ in taraba even though this is through the platform of the anglican communion but they have so graciously opened up their hearts to include everyone here therefore i declare every altar in taraba that preaches the name of christ let it be on fire for jesus prophetically we attract the attention of investors both local and international to taraba in the name of jesus hear me if there is anything planted in your soil to destroy the prophetic destiny of this state i stand by the privilege of priesthood in the name of jesus it is hereby nullified the spirit of untimely death that keeps killing the youth male and female that evil report comes to an end now hear me i pray for every elderly person here as a point of contact to our elders in taraba anybody from 60 years above we enter a covenant of life for the elderly in taraba there will be no longer untimely death in the name of jesus let me pray for the youth in the name of jesus right from taraba we export you as agents of change go across the globe educationally politically in ministry in business become captains of industry in the name of jesus christ the spirit of cultism prostitution moral decadence we bury it permanently over taraba finally i decree and declare that by reason of this conference let taraba become a light and a beacon even across the entire north and the nation in the name of jesus christ we pray all this in the name of the father in the name of the son and in the name of the holy spirit turn to someone by your left and right and congratulate them this is a new me it's a new taraba it's a new season of the supernatural in the name of jesus christ hallelujah now i want to appreciate one more time his excellency and the bishop and everyone hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son
attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.